How's it going everyone? It's Sam. The Bitcoin halving is coming up in less than 48 hours and we have seen a bit of a dip in Bitcoin's price over the last few days. Now it's starting to recover a little bit. We do have to talk about that, what's happening in the market. Plan B gave his prediction on when we go up. If we go up, what's going to happen in the next even two days? He goes two days then he goes like six to 12 months in the future too. He gives his opinion on that. And we also have some news about some cryptos that I think are going to do pretty well with some big news recently. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. Also, there is going to be a link to Marjax underneath the video in case you want to trade cryptocurrency using leverage. There is a link to this underneath and you can sign up. You don't have to KYC, which means you don't have to put in a bunch of personal information. You just put in your name. No, you don't even have to do that. You just put in your email, a password, and then look at their terms and conditions, and you can start trading today very quickly. And while this isn't right for everyone, right, you know, need to make sure that you have the right risk tolerance for this. You know, you can use a small percentage of your portfolio, and you can trade something like Bitcoin with, let's say, USDC or USDT or Bitcoin or Ethereum. There are there are all different kinds of collateral that you can use for this. So that's pretty awesome. There's also a link to CoinW underneath the video. We went to a CoinW party yesterday. There are a lot of traders that use CoinW, I can tell you that. And there are also pro traders that will help you. So if you sign up with the link underneath the video, you can join our chat with CoinW where there are pro traders giving setups, giving uh, their thoughts on the market at all different times, different charts. And you can also jump on live streams with them. You can learn from their content that they've recorded. They do this for a living. So when you sign up for CoinW, you can use that link underneath the video. Now let's start with what's happening with Mr. 100. So Mr. 100 bought more Bitcoin here today. 300 Bitcoin yesterday bought, what? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight times, something like that, another 700, 800 Bitcoin. Over the last three weeks, They've accumulated 6,000 Bitcoin, just over 6,000 Bitcoin. That is nuts. That's 300 Bitcoin a day. What is that at today's prices? $21 million worth of Bitcoin every single day. That's a lot of buying pressure. And we have seen the ETF start to slow down. I saw another outflow day yesterday from the ETFs. That's actually something we should actually cover. Let me pull that up right now because honestly, I didn't have it pulled up, but it is pretty pretty interesting so let's pull this up hodl 15 capital is the person to be paying attention to for this if you didn't know that already they consistently update these etfs it's by far the best coverage of the etfs and yes they have the having clocks on here too they cover some other stuff as well but ibit had an 18 million dollar day but when we scroll down there were outflows from more than just gbtc we actually saw the Bitwise ETF go negative $7 million. We had ARC B go negative $43 million. Fidelity was sideways for the day. A lot of other a lot of other ETFs were sideways. But it is interesting to see multiple ETFs actually have outflows. And this is something that a lot of people didn't think would happen, that we'd see outflows. But remember, these are retail investors. A lot of these investors that have been able to invest so far are retail. So they're buying through Fidelity. They're buying through uh, Charles Schwab. Maybe I don't know if they even approved it yet, but they're buying through their stock platforms, not through financial advisors. And they're not institutions looking five or 10 years down the line, putting it in retirement accounts. They're just buying it for a swing trade possibly, or they sold some Bitcoin that they're gonna go put in a, uh, in a ETF instead of holding the underlying Bitcoin. So we are gonna see some outflow days. I think that's bound to happen. Plan B gives his opinion on the market. In my opinion, this Bitcoin halving will not be different. All Bitcoin price increases, again, will be after the halving. Buying six months before the halving and selling 18 months after the halving will outperform buy and hold. You can see that that's the green line here. So if you just bought six months before, sold 18 months after, it says Bitcoin will be over 100K in 2024. I know this is a boring time, but that's a really good return. Like even if you have to wait months and months for that, that's eight months from now, Bitcoin up about what, 60%, 70%. That's a really good return. It says Bitcoin top will be over $300,000 next year. 
And then Honor says, we will find out in two days. He said, nothing will happen in two days. We already had a nice price increase now from 34K, which was October 2023 close, six months before the halving to 62K now, almost 2X. In my opinion, we will have another 2X in the next six to 10 months after the halving, then another 2X to 4X face melting FOMO top. I mean, think about that, 2X from here, puts us at 120K, 125K, somewhere around there. And then another 2X, so 250 to maybe 500K. He said 532K in the past. He said that's where he thinks we will top out based on some of his models. You can also see the charts here. 2012, the halving, massive move afterwards. 2016, massive move afterwards. 2020, massive move afterwards. Here, probably another massive move. Google Trends search volume is also increasing for the Bitcoin halving, being higher than we've ever seen it. I mean, let me go to the all time as well. It's just, there's a lot of interest around this. A lot of people have questions on what this is. If you don't know what this is, this does not cut the supply of Bitcoin in half. And let me just make sure that this is still recording. Uh, it does not cut the supply of Bitcoin in half. It cuts the new supply of Bitcoin in half, the amount that's coming to the market. So. Right now we have somewhere around 19 point, maybe 6 million Bitcoin, somewhere around there. And there are 900 Bitcoin a day, just about 900 Bitcoin a day that come to the market. Well, now there's gonna be 450. So every block reward is cut in half, which means there are less miners that are gonna be selling, which means less selling pressure, which means price typically doesn't go down as much, which means price goes up more. Uh, there's just less Bitcoin to go around. If there's some new entity that wants to buy a lot, like Mr. 100, they wanna go buy a lot, well, they have to buy it from someone and if there aren't as many sellers then they have to pay a higher price so that is where we're at on bitcoin right now like i said less than two days left into the bitcoin having centralized exchanges are loving this too recently like there is more interest you can see it in google search trends you can also see it here sex is set centralized exchanges like okx Binance and Bybit have tripled their monthly trading volume since late 2023. I've seen similar things on the back end, what I can see. Like a lot of people are starting to trade more, starting to buy more. There's just more retail interest in general. Speaking of cryptos that are interesting or some cryptos that you may want to invest in, I have a couple that I want to talk about. And believe me, there are a couple projects towards the end that are very exciting. Not that the others aren't, but some things that I have not seen before. So uh, while the whole list is great, stay through to the end. First, we're gonna start with Mazu. They are a way to get access to the SUI ecosystem through uh, their first yield farming token. Now, it's still a smaller cryptocurrency and uh, my computer's frying from the Dubai sun, so I'm gonna keep it on Twitter here. I'll leave links to them underneath the video, but basically their Mazu token has a buy and sell tax, 2% in 2%, uh, so 4% overall, half goes to buy and burn the token, half goes to the Dow Treasury. The Dow Treasury goes and invests in low risk SUI strategies, such as liquid staking, lending, borrowing, and this provides a, a bit of a yield. Now, what do they do with this yield? They go and buy back the Mazu token, which creates more hype, which uh, causes the price of the token to go up, which causes more buying and selling, which causes more buy and sell taxes, and it's kind of this flywheel effect. Now, SUI has been blowing up recently, and this cryptocurrency is one that I'm paying attention to in the Mazu ecosystem, or in the SUI ecosystem. Uh, Mazu is one that I'm paying attention to. So if you wanna check this out, I will leave links to it underneath the video. I think it's something to pay attention to for this next bull run, and Mazu is a partner of the channel, so always do your own due diligence, but make sure you go follow them on Twitter. Okay, now that we've talked about Mazu, you have to look at DYOR. It's do your own research decks, right? This is a really interesting one. I'll, I would go follow these on Twitter. I'm gonna be talking about a handful of cryptos here. Go follow these on Twitter. So that way you can get more information. You can follow them for a little bit. I'm not telling you to buy any of these. Some of these are in pre-sales too right now, uh, but a lot of these are ones that I'm investing in. So here you can actually, go you can go find their pitch deck on their website you can go through it so they are a platform that also helps you launch new token projects let me just continue on here they have a lot of information about them but 
experience seamless crypto trading with DYO. Our DEX, a new DEX featuring integrated dashboard tools similar to CoinMarketCap. So you're going to be able to trade. Uh, you're going to be able to track real-time prices, manage your portfolio, set alerts, and more. You can dive into their Telegram community as well. Here, our native DEX offers cheaper and faster trades, plus free advanced tools like automated slippage, auto anti-bot technology, and much more. Our built-in aggregator instantly searches all decentralized exchanges to find the best available price for your swap. Pretty cool, you know. There are a lot of uh, places that are quite expensive, right, to swap, to trade. So it is nice to have more options. So definitely go check them out. Another one that I'm paying attention to and investing into is Pirates of Arland. This is a play and earn Web3 mobile game that contains on-chain strategy games. I love strategy games. Like I, my my wife is right here, and she would agree that I don't like to play games that have no strategy. I don't like Uno. I don't like uh, like those types of games. I like games where you really have to trade. You have to um, battle other people. You have to build and uh, create resources, trade people for resources, that kind of stuff. And that's basically what this is going to be: Pirates of Arland. So you're going to have this like web three play to earn game that also has pirate strategy in it. Again, you can go to their website, but here is a pitch deck where they explain some of the issues. This is gonna be the first ever game to combine multiplayer online battle arena with an economic and strategy game in a pirate world. I'm sure a lot of you are, are like this too because you're in crypto, but I was talking with some other crypto influencers here too some other crypto youtubers and they were saying the same thing i was which is like we grew up and if we played video games we just tried to become like the wealthiest people in the game like whether it was runescape or even madden or something i remember playing madden mobile uh in college and i've been really playing the games as much but just sitting there in the auction house like sniping cheap uh cards and then reselling them at opportune times right when they were maybe boosted or something like that and that's what I think a lot of people in crypto like to do. Like if there's strategy involved and they can make money, they want to outsmart people. So this is going to be an interesting project as well. Moving on from there, Aether Games, another cryptocurrency that is in the gaming arena. Uh, they're now tradable on Ethereum Uniswap with a new liquidity pool already exceeding 500K. So they are uh, injecting a lot of liquidity in there. And then they just made this announcement, major milestone ahead. Aether Games and Layer Zero Labs, which is massive, uh, are joining forces to bridge AEG to other chains. The gates open soon for seamless trading on new chains. Get your wallets ready for cross-chain conquest. Stay vigilant. Trade only when we give official the signal, the official signal on our channels to avoid scams. Your security is our priority. They made so many partnerships recently, like. Day after day, they're announcing more partnerships over at Aether Games. They are tradable right now if you want to go buy them. Obviously, buy this right here. But you can go buy them now if you want. They're not in a pre-sale or anything like that. This was something that I'm investing into or already have invested into as well. Neurochain AI, part of the... Uh, the massive craze for AI, right? Neurochain is an all-in-one platform for developers to build AI dApps, including GPU deepen, data layer, and AI model layer. But what does it actually mean? AI is a $1.8 trillion industry, and Neurochain AI is tapping into 1% of that as an infrastructure of interconnected GPUs, AI models, and data. Even simpler, think of us as Ethereum for AI. Okay, that's really cool. The next one is also really cool. But the reason I'm really excited about this is it's an infrastructure play. It's an infrastructure play on AI. So it's kind of like when you invest into a gaming crypto that works with a bunch of gaming cryptos. Maybe they're a layer two for gaming cryptos or something like that. So it's not all based on one game. It's based on a bunch of games. So if one game does really well on the infrastructure, uh, then the underlying infrastructure token can do really well. I think of Neurochain AI as something similar to that. The next one on this list is CoreDAO. Now, they just introduced a non-custodial Bitcoin staking platform. I realize some people don't like to hear about yield bearing after the last bull market. I totally get it. But here, your Bitcoin doesn't have to leave your wallet address you basically lock it up and you get paid in core DAO rewards. It's really interesting. I'll play the video for you. Bitcoin is the most secure digital store of value. Millions of long-term holders have their precious Bitcoins safely stored, but that's just it until now. Today, 
Core contributors are excited to introduce non-custodial Bitcoin staking. All the BTC hodlers out there can now earn. For the first time ever, Bitcoin is a productive asset. With the same security, your BTC never leaves your control with Core Chain. You lock your BTC securely in a time lock, along with a core validator vote that will contribute to the consensus mechanism. While you can't spend your BTC, you're earning core rewards on the core blockchain. You can claim your core rewards with the specified core chain address, and when the time lock opens, you can move your BTC which have never left your address. Core's block rewards are shared among validators and their delegators, which include core token stakers, Bitcoin hash power delegators, and now, native BTC stakers, like you. Hold your BTC and earn. Stake them with Core and start this new era in Bitcoin's journey, right from the beginning. Let me know your thoughts on Core DAO underneath the video. This is one that I do hold, and after watching that video, it is really interesting, isn't it? Let me know, though, if that's something that you'd ever be interested in. Again, you're getting paid in their token for rewards. Let me know in the comments section if that's something you'd like to do or something that you'd ever think about doing. Maybe you want to see the track record. Maybe you want to sit for a couple of years, see how it works out, and then maybe down the line, this is something you're interested in. Let me know in the comment section though. Again, you can check out all the links underneath the video. Go follow a lot of these projects on Twitter because they are some projects that have a lot of excitement around them. I know a lot of people that are investing in these, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. You can check out Mazu underneath the video as well as today's show sponsor, and I'll see you in the next one. Again, Marjax and CoinW underneath the video.